Hello, today we're bringing back a concept that you love. I'm gonna try fast food in Germany. But not only Burger King or McDonald's. No, I'm gonna try everything. KFC, BK, McDonald's, German fast food. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna start right now with Burger King. Here we go. We're gonna start with my favorite German drink. Mm. Oh yeah, it's the best. It's called Lyft. I have a surprise in here. These nuggets are plant-based, so they're not made of meat. Yeah, they're vegan, no? Okay, visually, they're appetizing. They look almost like McDonald's nuggets. I'll try them without sauce. Man, you're gonna be shocked. Look at the inside. Honestly, this totally looks like real chicken. It's really impressive. Of course it's approved. I'd say 8 out of 10. What's the smell coming from this? Will you look at this? At first, I thought it was a burger, but it's paprika fries with sauce. The bell pepper looks quite good. Honestly, considering it's fast food, not bad. Oh yeah, the sauce reminds me of kebab sauce, but a bit sweeter. It has bell pepper and some caramelized onions. I had already tried this type of fries in France, but I didn't like them that much. We're trying German fast food, and I gotta tell you, it's looking pretty, pretty good. Mm. I give this an 8 too. It's clearly approved. Oh my god. Oh my god. This sandwich is a flagship sandwich here at Burger King in Germany. I gotta say, it looks like it was made some time ago. It looks a bit dry, but look at all we have. Three small steaks, two slices of cheddar, or maybe it's three slices, jalapenos, and it's called chili cheese. Long chili cheese. Oh. If you love cheese and all things spicy, this is for you. You can tell the bread has also been prepared in advance so it's a bit dry, I'd only give this a six. Now we have two burgers, which I hope will make me very happy because I've wanted to try them for a long time. Oh la la, oh la la. Looking at the bread, it's a bit like the one they have at Subway and it smells really, really good. Look at this. What do we have in here? Oh yeah, some spicy sauce, some fried onions. Honestly, this is my drug. You can smell the Tabasco sauce. It's very overpowering. And this is the same, but the fried chicken version. Look at this, some chunks of bell pepper. I'm gonna try the sauce just like that. It's red, really bright red. It reminds me a bit of a sauce called Old El Paso, the sauce they put on fajitas. The sauce is not that spicy, but I think that the mix of peppers plus the sauce must be spicy. I'm gonna try the beef one. It's delicious. It's spicy. The fried onion gives it a nice crispiness. It's spicy, but not too spicy. I wouldn't say it's a 10, but I'd give it a 9. Now the chicken. Mm, this is also good. To me, at Burger King, beef is always better though. The chicken is good, but it's not crispy enough, and it should have more chicken too. So I'd say 7.5. I've never tried this. It's called Fresh King. I don't know what it is, but I guess it's a bit fresher. It's small, but looks cute. At first sight, the bread looks pretty good. Okay, it's like a garnish whopper, huh? It has mayo, tomato, lettuce, onions, and there's also a cheesesteak. It's not the best smell. It doesn't smell like a burger, it smells like bread. Hmm? I really can't tell if it's good or not. This cheese is a bit elastic, unlike Baby Bell cheese. Like Ficello? Yeah, a bit like Ficello. I don't really like the way it tastes. So far, it's the one I've liked the least. I'd give it a five. But still, I think Burger King in Germany is better than Burger King in France. The food was very good, especially the fries, which were also a bit different. They remind me of McDonald's. They're pretty good. Okay, let's move on. Now we are gonna try a restaurant which is very, very, very German, because we are at Nordsee. I think that's what it's called, which is a fast food place that sells mostly fish. I have to tell you I don't really like fish, but we're gonna give it a go. I got a menu which has a burger, fries, a drink, and two extra burgers, and I only spent 13 euros 50 cents, so the price is pretty good. Well, I mean, honestly, they have this bread which is like the one you get at a school cafeteria. Let's see what we have inside. Okay, look at this. A little sauce, no sauce on the bottom, and some wilted looking lettuce. I'm doing this for you. Oh. It tastes like fish. It really, really tastes like fish. Ah, it's a good thing I don't have to eat all this by myself. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> this time I can't have your back, man. Ah, we'll find someone else on the team, Will. Nobody wants that. It's not too dry, but it's not good either. Four out of ten. I think the only thing I've really liked from this place is ketchup, because it's a big pouch and it's easy to open. Now we're gonna try the fries, and look at these fries. They're really, really huge, but they're not the kind I like better. Surprisingly, these are pretty good. They're approved. 
Will you look at this? The fish is bigger than the bread. Actually, this is bizarre. Look at this. I mean, there's nothing but bread and lettuce. There isn't any sauce. Just a little bit of sauce there, but it's like you're forced to eat it like this, you know? There's only fish to bite, and it's not hot. It's cold. Look, there are a lot of people who come here, which means it's popular. Do you think we were supposed to reheat this? If there are any Germans who know and want to explain it to us, let us know if we had to heat it or something, or if we had to order other dishes. It's still better than the first. I'd give it a six. I'm gonna try the sauce. I don't like the sauce either. It's like tartar sauce with artificial mayo. Yuck. We saw something on the menu and we had to get it. Hello. This is like a video challenge. Will you look at this? There are onions, there are two pickles, no sauce, there isn't any sauce whatsoever. As far as looks go, this is the least appetizing one, but I get the feeling that the taste, actually, it doesn't smell bad at all. I had a positive attitude. I had faith. Aw. Oh. Aw. Oh. <laughs> It's not good. Oh, it tastes sour. And it tastes like the ocean. I got one more thing for you. Mesomix. And what is Mesomix? Do you know what it is? No idea. You've never heard of it. I think you're offering me some medicine. Look at the label. Mesomix, the name. And maybe you'll guess what it is. A uh, mixture of something? There's probably orange in it. It's a mixture of Coca-Cola and orange. It's true. It does smell like medicine. When it comes to taste, it's quite difficult to describe it. It's not like Coke, it's not like orange soda. Actually, it has a lot of gas, and you can't really taste the Coke. This is the thing I like the most, but I didn't like the rest. We're gonna try KFC in Germany. Let's see how that goes. Let's start with the burger. Okay, the bread looks pretty good, and the burger is really, really thick. Look at this. You get two big pieces of chicken. It is good. It may be a bit too much. See, you have two pieces of chicken, two slices of cheese, bacon. There's quite a lot of bacon, then sauce. A single piece of chicken would have been better. I've always dreamed of trying this. You always see this on American shows or animated series like South Park. It looked fancier on the shows. Anyways, this is mashed potatoes with some gravy sauce. I'd never had this at a fast food place. Actually, it's the type of mash you'd get at a school cafeteria. The sauce. Yeah, the sauce is alright. I was expecting more. It's not bad. 6 out of 10. I'm dying to open this nice box. Oh, I'm sad. I thought they were tenders with a slightly different breading, but they look more like nuggets. Still, there's plenty of chicken. It's well seasoned. It's not dry, but the breading is not really crispy. Yeah, they're like nuggets. Seven and a half. Will you look at this? Longtime KFC fans will know what this is. We actually used to have this in France, but anyways, this is a big piece of chicken. It's actually chicken thighs. There are some spots that need a little more breading. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's good. There's a good amount of chicken. It's better than the nuggets. I'd give it an eight and a half. We're gonna finish this tasting with the drink. Please look at the color of it. I've never tried this, but I imagine it must taste like Fanta. Actually, it tastes more like a Fanta candy. It tastes very artificial, but that doesn't mean it tastes bad. It's okay. If I'm not mistaken, this is called Mirinda. Anyways, if you're ever in Germany and you like things which taste like artificial candy, try this. We're at McDonald's and there are tons and tons of products to try. A lot of burgers, fried stuff. We have these famous fries called Twister Fries. We had this in France at some point. Maybe they're the same. Mm. We all think they should bring them back, right? Like the video if you think so too. I'm gonna start with two small burgers. One is bigger than the other. A double cheeseburger, but with a nice cheese sauce. Look at this, and lots of jalapenos. It's like Burger King's long chili cheese, but this time it's a double cheeseburger. Mm. It's better than Burger King's, I guess. That's because they make them on the spot, so it's not dry at all. I'm gonna try a small burger. It looks just like a cheeseburger in France, but look, you get two pieces of chicken, tomato, some sauce, and some lettuce. You know, this looks pretty good. Mm. It's that spicy sweet sauce that you put in spring rolls. Honestly, it's not bad. I'd say 8 out of 10. I got a menu, and what's really interesting about the menu is that you can order a milkshake, so I got a caramel macchiato instead of the classic Coke. On top of that, I got this sandwich that I've never tried. Everyone's talking about it on Twitter. The McRib. Wow. Yeah, I like it. It's not good. Honestly, I think it's a lot. It has lots of sauce. The barbecue sauce has a strong smell. Let's try it. 
Mmm. Well, the meat tastes kind of artificial, but still, it's not bad at all. Now I get the hype. It's filled with sauce, not dry at all. It's approved. I'd say an eight for sure. Look at this thing. It's shrimp. It's fried shrimp. So we got some shrimps, and here, these aren't huge nuggets. They're wings. Let's see how it goes with some cocktail sauce. Mmm, it's actually pretty good. It's approved. Seven out of ten. I wouldn't necessarily replace nuggets with these, but they're really good. Okay, let's try the wings. In fact, I actually eat wings all the time. You know, they're good. They're not incredible. They're not crispy enough, but really with the spices and all, it works just fine. But the wings at French McDonald's are better. Not to mention Pepe Chicken. You can't, can't compare. It's time for dessert. We're gonna have a nice sweet treat. We have a novelty. It's a new McFlurry. I've never tried it. It's ice cream, but like frozen yogurt. Let me try it without the syrup. Mmm, this is approved. I decided to get a donut just now, cause look at what it says. I do not care. That's what I tell myself about the diet. Too bad. It's a bit dry. For a donut, it's a shame. But at least I get to try my hot drink, the caramel macchiato. It's not too sweet compared to Starbucks. I'm a big fan of coffee and this one's good. To end on a high note, we got another novelty. Do you all know the apple pie? Look at what we got here. It's pretty much the same as apple pie, but in this case, I think it's blueberries and cream. I know it's gonna be awesome. You get blueberries and cream. I like it better with apples, but this mixture of ice cream and apple pie, well, blueberry pie, incredible. I sure ate my fill. Personally, I think the best was that Tabasco burger from Burger King. Okay, guys, let me know what country's fast food you want me to try next. That's all for now. Bye-bye.